what's going on guys tread back again here to bring you another video this one's going to be doing a video which i am calling the walking dead the greatest zombie story ever written all right good stuff so i wanted to go ahead and do this video after reading the walking dead issue 127 which was released a few days ago. If you guys haven't read it yet, definitely want to check it out now. Um, I will say this is going to be kind of spoilery if um, you intend to read the Walking Dead comic book series and you're not caught up. Uh, I may spoil some things about the overall direction, the overall uh, plot of the Walking Dead, the story, and over the long run, the macro of it. Um, and in addition to that, if you um, if you're a person who doesn't read the comic book series and you don't care about that, but you don't want to know the general direction that the television series is going to take over time because most likely the television series is going to follow the same direction as the comic book series, uh, which has always basically been the case. So if you don't want to know about that, you also may not want to watch this video. So there's some spoiler warnings out of the way, so to speak. That said, so basically the reason why I wanted to do this video was because of in The Walking Dead issue 127, we see another time skip where we skip two years uh, going from the end of All Out War, which is the war between the three communities, United, Rick's Group, the Kingdom, and the Hilltop, uh, Alexandria. Um, and they're facing off against uh, Negan, who is a pretty fearsome uh, villain, of course, the leader of the Saviors. So uh, with that, um, we see a big, huge war go off, similar to what happened with um, the prison versus Woodbury with the governor versus Rick, um, except this time Negan has more men, Rick has more people, and it's a bigger it's a bigger battle, it's more like a war. So we see the conclusion of that, and basically up until then, the story of The Walking Dead has been all the way through a struggle to survive, so a, a, um, a zombie apocalypse um, survival horror type of story, similar to a survival horror type of video game or um, you know any, anything where you get into a uh, horror type situation with, with zombies, zombie apocalypse, and characters are basically just struggling to survive. Now, that's the route that most zombie stories go. That's the route that most movies, the zombie apocalypse movies, video games, that's what they, that's what they go for. That's what they're doing. But the problem with them, or the reason why I want to say The Walking Dead is the greatest one so far, by far, is because they only start that. So they only show us, you know, the survival horror aspect for a short period of time, pretty much in any of them. We don't get to see the kind of evolution that The Walking Dead goes through from the beginning, where the zombie apocalypse has just started to occur, Rick wakes up, everything like that up until the point where Rick and his group have essentially uh, overcome the zombie apocalypse and are rebuilding a society uh, which is safe, which is basically protected against walkers, where humanity can essentially restart with a group that's bigger than, I, I believe, over 100 people is taking in other survivors they find out there and is a true... Um, safe haven so to speak or or is 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 truly safe where humanity can really live um which is very cool which is what we've basically seen so in, in the span of about maybe four or five years in a zombie apocalypse the group has gone from 100 percent just survival horror you know people are bad zombies are bad everything like that struggling to survive people dying losing body parts going through this huge survival to the ev to the evolved point where they have actually overcome the zombie apocalypse and have rebuilt a society and the great thing about it is that as we go through each step each step has felt natural each step has felt in order and each thing has led one into another all the way through from the beginning up until the current point where the series is at now this is something that I've talked about I talked about this a lot in my uh, Walking Dead versus Game of Thrones video where I was comparing the two because they're similar in a lot of ways, but there's a huge difference with Rick Grimes. In in Game of Thrones, you have characters dying off all the time. All these different things are happening, and, and it's kind of, I wouldn't say it's a horror, but it's definitely a survival type story where you have characters that are dying. The Walking Dead is the same for the most part with one key difference. 
In The Walking Dead, your lead character, your lead protagonist that you're following in Game of Thrones is dispersed. But in The Walking Dead, it's concentrated mostly on Rick with his small group with him. We follow him all the way through to lead to an end, which is where basically, after the time skip, they have rebuilt society. So humanity is, is essentially starting again. So we literally go from the inclusion of the zombie apocalypse right on through it four or five years later to where humanity has essentially overcome the zombie apocalypse and are, are living, created a huge society, and have essentially won, have essentially beaten, survived to the point where they're not struggling to survive anymore. They can survive with using advanced strategies, and they have essentially found a way to grow food. They've found a way to mold more weapons and to essentially handle zombies. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing to think when you compare it to just like a simple movie where it's just like, okay, surviving one night in a zombie apocalypse and maybe everybody dies or, or surviving a couple weeks in a zombie apocalypse and most people die. And uh, I think with that, it basically makes Rick Grimes the best character in any zombie story out there, I would say so far, based on the material and based on the popularity and everything. I think he's probably the most well-known character in a zombie type story there is that's ever been created so in terms of the overall story of the walking dead and the evolution through the story it, it's a good thing because you don't want you wouldn't want the story to become repetitive you wouldn't want it to always be like constantly they're trying to survive they're a small group they lose a few members but then they join with a few more then a few die off then they join with a few more then and over and over and over and over and over again they run to the governor then they run to negan then they run to somebody else then they run to somebody else after that it's, um, it's, it's so much greater than that in that they have gone through all those trials and tri tribulations, but they have risen to the occasion and they have essentially survived, or at least most of them have survived, to rebuild or restart humanity, to rebuild society. Pretty amazing stuff. So that's the general direction that the, the series has gone in. And um, I got to tell you, as someone who's read the comic book every issue through all the way, many times over, and the television series, um, it's definitely not a disappointment over time because it feels like we invested all our time into reading the story of Rick Grimes and rather than seeing him just killed off at some time like like just randomly we followed him because he is the character that has essentially given everything in his life to rebuild humanity to restart and eventually that group in the long term will probably um, you know uh, as the zombies die off and they they you know get bigger and bigger and bigger will become the human race after the zombie apocalypse has ended. So end of zombie apocalypse, all the way through survival, rebuilding, and then uh, through evolution in many years, uh, restarting of society as the zombies die off and eventually humanity wins in the long term as a result of all these different events we've seen and what this group does. So that, I think that's pretty amazing. I think that's pretty awesome. And uh, definitely the story is, is not a disappointment. It's uh, to me personally, I think it's the best one ever. Can I say that with confidence? Yeah, I think so. I don't think there's really anything else out there that you could compare. There's some short stories in comparison. When I say short stories, I mean like maybe a few hours long to, uh, to watch in a movie or to read in a book and it, things like that. But I really don't think they compare when you compare the uh, the evolution um, and the, you know the overall story. Amazing, amazing story. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say for this one, guys. If you guys read issue 127, let me know what you think about the time skip. Let me know what you think about the evolution of all the characters. And uh, really cool to get to see that when you think about the bigger picture of that breakdown, loss to the zombies, kind of, you know, fighting for survival to overcoming that to dealing with each other to the point where you can build a society again and then es essentially beat beat the zombies as humanity regrows and grows and grows and grows and grows. Very cool stuff. Outsmart them, so to speak. Anyway, um, it's pretty much all I have to say for, for this one, guys. Uh, I think it's conclusive. I don't think it's I don't think there's many others out there you could really compare that would honestly, you know, have a have any kind of um, weight to them when you when you compare it to the uh, the walking dead in terms of a zombie apocalypse story it's the greatest ever in my opinion anyway let me know what you guys think and i'll call it here that's it for this video guys i'll see you for the next one this is travis thomas saying peace